Hello and welcome. So people, I, I shouldn't say people, <laughs> dealerships aren't happy. The fact that uh, D, uh, VW is bypassing the dealership network and selling the Scout straight to consumers. VW deal dealers furious as Scout sells Terrera and Traveler direct to consumers. And I am all here for it because I'm sure they're done with all these shenanigans. And I am too. I'm okay with selling directly to consumers. The Revive brand will handle all sales, production, servicing of its models that might rub existing VW <laughs> dealers the wrong way. Scouts direct to consumers model bypass traditional VW dealerships, frustrating dealers, and sparking potential legal challenges nationwide. Established as an independent company, Scout avoids state franchise laws that would otherwise require dealerships involvement the new terrera traveler are, expe are expected to begin productions in the u.s in 2027 with prices both models starting at under 60,000. and i am all here for it if tesla can do it and what's that other ev company oh it's like right there in the tip of my tongue um but they sold straight to consumers if they can do it why not some of these big manufacturers who just sell directly to consumers to me i feel like you're gonna get a better deal buying directly from cons from the uh, manufacturer because their prices are set. There's none of that stupid dealer fees, none of that markup, no bullshit. You're just getting the product exactly as it should. But you know, you don't. You also don't get the incentives. You know, if these cars aren't selling very well, dealerships will give you better offer, um, low prices, etc. But on a new product. <sighs> they're going to get you. VW dealers, dealerships in the United States hoping to get a piece of action with a new Scout Terrera pickup with Traveler's SUV are out of luck. The revived brand has confirmed that these models will be sold directly to consumers, bypassing the traditional dealerships. For the past few years, VW leaderships has been debating the best way to market vehicles from its American-based startup. Dealerships had suspected as early as May 2022 the Scout might adopt a direct sales model while well before the new models were officially unveiled. VW offered them at no assurance that they include in the sales process, leaving many dealers bracing for disappointment. And I'm here for it! While speaking about the new Terrera Travelers at the presentation, uh, Scout Chief Executive Scott Kyung, I can't say your last name, I'm sorry, confirmed that the company will indeed adopt a direct-to-consumer sales. Unsurprisingly, this hasn't gone down <laughs> well with existing VW dealers, and I'm here for it. Like I said, I am here for it, and I am all for it. I'm tired of dealing with dealerships, having to go through all these bullshit, making sure your paperwork is correct. Um, just so, just so you know, you you know exactly what you're paying for, and the dealership doesn't hide anything in the paperwork. Um, it could be something like warranty or whatever, just something small. Like they'll add in there, and like a small fine print, you won't know until you actually go through it yourself. <clears throat> Assuming they take this other path, let's face it: there's going to be challenge and problems for the virtually everywhere across the country," said John Deville, 2024 chairman of Automotive Trade Association executive and CEO of Pennsylvania Automotive Association. Jeez, that's the longest title. My counterparts around the country are just not going to roll over. The problem for DVW dealers is the Scout has been established as an independent company, a move that clears the way for direct-to-consumer model without conflicting VW's franchise dealer network. <laughs> So they circumvent, <laughs> they circumvent <laughs> the way that you know traditionally you have to um, go through the dealer network, especially if you're a big brand like VW or you know Ford or whatever. If Ford decides to spin off into a whole different um, model or a whole different brand, you know then they can sell those vehicles directly to consumers without having to deal with dealers, and they'll just handle everything from A all the way to Z. Because of the way the franchise laws are in many states, if there were to be a Volkswagen company, it would be forced to not compete against Volkswagen dealerships. Sam Fiorini? Oh, I don't know, man. I can't say these 
these names, and I apologize. Vice Pre President of Global Vehicle Forecasting for Auto Forecast, Forecast Solutions told other news, but as a standalone company, they are working to get around requiring franchise dealers, period, to carry scouts. Scout Motors is looking to establish a one-to-one -one relationship with its customer, directly offering reservation, sales delivery, servicing. It adds shoppers will know exactly what they're paying for, full price transparency. I like that because we are done with all these nonsense. I think that's one of the things that make that makes uh, Tesla's attractive, even though with all their bullshit, um, you go to the website, you get the car you want, you customize it, you order it, you pay, whether you're financing, leasing, or whatever it is, you do all that, and then the car gets delivered to you, or you go pick it up at one of their um, own established dealerships. It says vehicle purchase transactions will be completed in minutes. Interested buyers will be able to see Terrera travel models at dedicated retail spaces across the U.S., Test driver will also offer it at these sites. Scout workshops are being established, but firm notes approximately 80% of repair types can be completed outside of scout workshop, whether in a driveway or while adventuring. <laughs> scout has already started accepting reservations for the two models requiring a $100 reservation fee, which is fully refundable. Prices for both the Travelers and Terrera will start at 60 um, the production will begin in 2027. Battery range extender powertrains will be offered. Fully electric model will use two motors featuring 800 volt electrical architecture and offering up to 350 miles. Hey, it's not bad. Um, a gas extender with a small engine designed to recharge the voltage battery is also in the works. Model will range for more than 100, 500 miles. That's good news. I am all for this. We are done with the dealership's nonsense. Cry me a river. They're just mad they can't get them to pay 100 or oh, 10,000 <laughs> add-ons, addendums. They would just turn people off on them like Land Cruiser and Bronco when those things came up. As someone who sat through buying a GTI with my son, good riddance to the awful dealerships. <laughs> Good. Dealers serve no purpose other than warranty, work, parts, service, consequential. That's where half their gross profit come from anyway. That's true. VW dealers, if allowed to sell them, would be required to turn section section of the dealerships into a scout section along the exterior signage. It's basically a mandate to spend tens, if not hundreds of thousands, ask Chrysler stores how spending all that money on fiat centers. <laughs> facts so these are some great points that people are making here and they are seeing it just like i would i would i'm definitely down for this um <laughs> dear dealerships get over it love the consumer <laughs> so it seems like there's a lot of uh, positive reception towards this and i am all for it the fact that you know they're going to be handling everything from sales servicing and everything so I am all for this. Now, will it sell? That comes down to the consumers who are interested in these types of vehicles. I know that um, electric vehicles demand has gone down drastically from what it was um, during COVID season. But you guys let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way, I, I kind of like, like the design. I'm not going to lie, especially the SUV and the truck um, definitely got my interest. I wouldn't mind taking that truck out. Comparing to the Rivian, which is a nice truck as well, too, but it's just the repairing cost is astronomical. All right, now I'm, I'm out of here.